Hey guys, it's Rolando from Red Moto. Today we're going to be doing a 2007 Toyota Tundra conversion. Not just any Toyota Tundra, it's going to be my own personal vehicle. A little backstory on the vehicle itself. Uh, I bought it from my friend that passed away, so it's a lot of sentimental value to me, you know? So even though it looks like trash right now, we're going to make it into a, a brand new truck basically. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is convert the, the front end over here to a 2020 Toyota Tundra. But also, not just converting a 2020 Toyota Tundra, we're going to convert it into a Baja style. So we're going to have wider uh, rear end and a wider fender flares. So if you guys want to come around, we can take a look at what I did to my car. Alright guys, so let me walk you around what I did to the truck in the beginning. Uh, it started off as a plain black truck. It was a color code 202. So then, you know, got, doing a little bit of research, trying to be cool and stuff like that. I decided I needed to wrap the car. So I found the wrap that I wanted and it was a, um, I think it's brush aluminum they wanted. That's what they called it on the wrap. So I called a lot of wrap companies and they said it was like four or 5,000, you know, being young and had no money. I was like, you know, I'm gonna do this myself. So I did a YouTube video, learned how to wrap, and bought some wrap, uh, wrap paper at, uh, on eBay. Bad idea guys, really bad idea. Don't go cheap on these wraps, you know, let the professionals handle it. Uh, this is what happened. It started off really well, looked good, got like a lot of people, uh, you know, coming up to me in the streets, but then, yeah, it started cracking and stuff like that. So now that's going to be uh, one hell of a project right here. So that's one thing we're going to do is take off the wrap. So we're going to start off in the uh, the door right here. The, the front end right here, we're not going to do anything to it. We're going to take it off anyways. So that's that's one blessing in disguise because I don't have to take off this wrap right here. But I'll show you guys a video on how to take off this wrap and learn from my mistake, okay? Don't, don't do it yourself. If you're gonna do it yourself, buy some expensive, uh, top quality wrap, you know? Get the 3M. So, a uh, little bit of walk around right here. Yeah, again, all, all the wraps peeling. I try to wrap the uh, front bumper, the chrome piece, but wrapping a uh, front bumper, if you guys ever done it before, it's really hard, very difficult. So we're missing a couple pieces right here because of my wrap skills. Kind of broke some of those tabs. I'm gonna replace the headlights now. It's turning yellow. I got I got some wheels right here. You know, if you guys are familiar with the uh, what, what is that? I think the uh, I think it's a Highlander. I think the Highlander had these uh, these uh, these wheels, but they wrapped it for me. So we can take a look at the inside. A little neglected it's been it's been months since i drove it so uh yeah i just use it as a work truck try to pick up uh, parts here and there i did own a junkyard in the in the beginning of this uh red moto career so a lot of uh junkyard parts towing cars towing junkyard cars uh broken down cars this car took a lot of abuse it's still running strong so that's a lesson for you guys uh buy a toyota tundra get those tundras man those tundras uh, last forever uh I'm gonna clean it up. So let's see what's in the back. I won't put, oh my goodness, there's tires in here, see? It's not even the tires for the truck, Jesus. See, my sister-in-law, she does this all the time. She puts like random stuff in my truck. I, I, I'm gonna try to talk to her about this, uh, this Toyo tire she got. She got, so she, you know, cars come with four wheels. This girl only got three wheels. So I gotta talk to her about that too. Uh, we're gonna get rid of all this stuff, clean it out. So, you know, owning a truck, everyone wants to use it. So, you know, that's something that uh, it's a little bit of downfall for uh, owning a truck. But this is what happens when you let someone else borrow your truck. They, they move their, from one apartment to another apartment and they hit the side of the, uh, I guess like the gate. They're trying to punch in that code and I guess that thing just came out of nowhere and boom. Now I got the whole bed bedside uh, gotta be redone. Well, they did the bedside, so I'm gonna go ahead and convert this side to a uh, Tundra, uh, to a Baja uh, style uh, rear end. We got this thing missing. We got a lot of things, we got a lot of things to go. All right guys, so before I start this project, we gotta know the car works, or runs at least.
Oh, that sucker's heavy. Come on. I'm gonna tighten it up and then we're gonna start it. Check the oil. Oh, no. All right, let's, let's, let's go ahead and check the fluids. Make sure we got some oil in this thing. Oh, look at that. Oil's still looking good. Well, let me show you guys how I moved this car. It's kind of interesting. You guys Jump in the passenger seat with me and I'll show you guys. So a little funny story about these uh, Tundras. For some reason, like these things just come off, but the car's still running. But then at the same time, this thing doesn't, doesn't go backwards. The shifter doesn't move unless you put the special key in there. So you press down on here, boom. You can go in reverse without the key. We'll put that back in there just in case so I don't forget it. So now the car moves, which is a good sign. So, so let me, uh, well, well, we'll post a link right here or a picture of what the 2020 looks like. But all in all, I'm gonna have to change out the hood, the grill, the front bumper itself, the headlights. So it's gonna need a little bit of a support right here. And then the fender itself. So a couple of these very basic bolt-ons, uh, the same chassis on the 2007, it's the same chassis in the 2020, so that's a great thing. All we need to do is change out the front and a little bit of a bracket. And I believe I have to change out the, uh, the latch right here because it won't latch down. But I'm gonna do a little bit more research and see if that's actually what I need to do. And hopefully this is gonna be a project that you guys can do yourself. So it's gonna be a bolt-on from what I hear. Not, not a lot of major uh, welding or anything like that. So let's try it out, okay? So first, let's go ahead and clean the truck. You guys ever seen a Filipino uh, toy? I'm Filipino, so like my Filipino cousin I think gave this to me. <laughs> if you guys know the Barrel Man, all my Filipino folks, you know what the Barrel Man. Co comment down below if you guys have this at your house too. Mine's a little a bit smaller than yours probably. I know you guys have the bigger ones. Yeah, all, size 10? All the sockets that I was missing. It was in my truck the whole time. Jesus. Want more money? Alright guys, if you ever had one of these things, this, this thing don't work. It'll never t uh, pressurize your tire. Use this for basketball. Nut. It's a wedding nut. 
second wind ring. There's my Brent mints. Whoa! Holy shit, look how big they got! They were really small before. It's from like high school. I can't use that. That's my middle school locker room. Or locker. This is how we're gonna pay for this. I saved it all up. All these coins though. Put in your pocket. Rich. Yeah, you guys know what this is? Back in the days, we used to take photos with a Polaroid camera. Gotta go to that uh, Walgreens and develop it. You guys don't know anything about this. Got a Hallmark card. Oh! That's when I got married. I got this card, but I never wrote anything in it. Don't tell my wife. 75 cents right there. A dollar and 12. 75. It's like almost two dollars. 20. 40, 60, 80, one dollar, one dollar and forty cents right there. That's two dollars and five cents. What is that? Five dollars and seventy-seven cents. So five dollars and seventy-seven cents. I think this bill's gonna cost me around three three thousand dollars. So yeah. right here the super fender mk3 that's where it all started right here i'm gonna have to keep this one and frame it three hours later all right guys so let's take a look at what uh what we accomplished so far today we've got the interior clean we're gonna do a little bit of uh the next video we'll probably do vacuuming on the inside of the car I found my clinton cover underneath. I've been looking for this for a long time, finally found it. Alright, so now the truck bed is all clean. All of this, we're going to try to do our part to recycle, save, you know, save the world or the... Is it the earth? Is it the earth we're trying to save? Car starts, runs. We're gonna take off all this wrap. I'll show you guys how to take that off so you guys don't do the same thing I did. All right, guys, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and uh, turn on that push notification so you guys don't miss anything on this new project that we're doing. Uh, if you guys need any pre planned auto body parts, go to redmoto.com. It's gonna help us. They're the sponsor, actually, Redmoto. So uh, try to help us out, get this build uh, started, and uh, yeah, that's, I'm excited. <laughs>